Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Javita Christie and in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can nest a block inside a block in PLSQL and at the same time, how you can make your program or your code uh, more modular uh, where you know you don't have to repeat several parts of your code again and again. So you can create a procedure, which is like a sub program, which helps you to actually make your code be more readable and reusable. So let's begin. So now I'm going to teach you how to nest blocks within PLSQL. So your nesting blocks means you're writing one block inside another block. And not just that, but uh, I'm also going to teach you how to use the concatenation operator in PLSQL. Concatenation operator helps you to join two different strings. Um, they could be variables or just strings. And then you can join them and display them or do whatever else you want to do with them. So let's start with the first program. Once again, I'm typing my code in Notepad and then copy pasting that into PLSQL uh, command line, Oracle SQL Plus. So first, I'm going to write down declare and I will mention the name of my variable, which I am naming as message and its data type, which is, uh, which is variable character. This is the same as what you use in SQL. And the size, I'm going to mention 100, so it can store 100 bytes. And then equal to, and I'm only going to write here, hello and semicolon. Now next, after declare, obviously we are writing begin. And within begin now, instead of directly beginning to code, I'm going to mention declare. And at this point, I will mention another message. And this time it is message two. And here I'm going to again write the data type variable character with the size 100. And here I'm going to use the concatenation operation. So remember the variable that I declared right here, I have declared message. So I'm just going to use that variable here. So I'm going to type message and then I'll use these pipes. So two times when you use pipes two times that is concatenation. So I'm doing concatenation here by using pipe two times. And then I'm going to mention world. So this is again, I'm just trying to print hello world, but just wanted to show how nested blocks work and how concatenation works. So that's why I've created message and message to and message to is actually a concatenation of message with the string world. And now once that is done right here, then I am going to now write down the begin block of uh, the begin part of the second block of PLSQL. So here, so remember that this begin it actually goes with the declare that we wrote here. So begin and I'll write down dbms dot output sorry dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and message two which is what I want displayed and once that is done I can end this block which is inside and I can end the block which is outside and then do a forward slash you can always add forward slash afterwards in PLSQL command line so my code is ready. Now I just have to select it uh, and copy it by pressing Control C and right click and paste. And once it's pasted, I'm going to hit enter and forward slash. So you can see that it is printing hello world as expected by concatenating two different strings. And this is how you can perform nesting of blocks in SQL. And once again, if you haven't, if you have forgotten to actually perform the set server output on, if you haven't done that, then please do it before every program that you start. Otherwise, I mean, before every, every time you start your SQL plus command line, make sure to run that command 
only then uh, this message which which I'm printing here will be displayed. Otherwise, you might just get PLSQL procedure successfully completed. So that's how you can nest blocks in SQL plus command line. Whatever PLSQL code that I have taught in videos up to now, we have used all anonymous blocks of PLSQL code. Anonymous blocks are blocks without a name. So I, I have not divided my code into separate sections. But if I do that, if I divide my code into several sections, then it will help me to, first of all, organize my code, better manage it. And also at the same time, I can apply some sort of a strategy uh, to, to make my code modular. So that means if I create some sort of a sub program that I can use again and again, then I would have to write less amount of code, less number of lines of code. And that is what a procedure actually does. It allows you to create sub programs within your program. And these sub programs are reusable. So procedures are usually uh, uh, used to perform some sort of an action but there are also functions and if you have studied uh, other programming languages you would know what a function is it is used to uh, calculate something and then return an answer so you can also create functions in order to increase um, the manageability of your code but you can also use procedures and in this in this uh, video, I'm going to explain only procedures and functions I will explain later on. And we need to create procedures. We need to name several parts of our program because right now the code that we are writing is very small. But in practice, when you go to a, uh, when you go and do a real world problem, you will realize that you actually need to write code that is really, really large. And at that time, writing a, a code without naming any of the sections will make your code very hard to manage and very hard to organize. So that's why we need to use all these subprogram features. Now, previously, we did a program on, you know, printing Hello World, a very simple program. Now, imagine that I want to create an application and within my application, I want to print hello world several times in several places. So I wouldn't want to really, you know, write that same code for printing hello world many times, multiple times everywhere because it causes uh, lots of problems. First problem is obviously I have to type more and the number of lines in my code increases. It makes my code very hard to manage. And another problem would be what happens if I want to change that message instead of hello world, I want to now say hello universe. In, in this case, I would have to find all the places in my application code where I have written hello world and change that message to hello universe. And you can imagine how much time that will take if you have written a really large application and written hello world in many places so in order to avoid all these problems we are going to learn to make procedures so let's go ahead and quickly uh, open pls uh, uh, sorry open sql plus and um, start implementing it so to create a procedure in plsql you need to write down first of all in notepad create or replace procedure so procedure is a keyword of course and we write create as well as replace the reason why we write down create along with replace is because it might happen that this type of a procedure is already available in your system so if it's already there then if I mention replace as a keyword here, then it's going to simply replace that procedure which is already present. So you don't, you won't get an error saying that procedure already exists. So you can always write down create or replace, which means it will either create it 
or if it's already there it will replace the existing one with the one that I'm writing here. Now once I've written this I'm going to write the name of my procedure. So I want to name my procedure hello world so I'm simply going to write down hello world as the name of my procedure and then I will mention is. So is is another keyword right and this keyword is also used to start the procedure so whatever follows is is your actual code which you're going to write which you're going to implement now don't get confused with all this procedure thing it is just the same as declare begin end that we did earlier only thing instead of declare we have now create or replace procedure and once that is done we mention is and then you just do everything that you would do in a declare block so I'm going to write down a variable message as variable character with 100 size and then of course equal to and here I will mention hello world so you can see I've done that much and oh exclamation inside single quote outside and then once you do that never forget to put the semicolon and once you're done so this is the same thing as you know putting a declare block now once declare block is ready all I need to do is begin so once I write down begin I just have to now write down my line where I'm going to print this message so dbms underscore output dot put underscore line. I know it's quite big but the more you practice uh, the more you grow to like it actually so dbms output dot put underscore line and now I'm going to write down the name of my variable which is message and semicolon and then I'm going to do end and after writing end I'm going to mention the name of my procedure so usually in a normal PLSQL block, we write down begin and simply end. But in this case, you're going to write down create or replace procedure. And then you're going to mention end and the name of the procedure, which is hello world. And then you put a semicolon. And now what I've done is I have extended PLSQL. So this is like creating a sub program which can be called from other programs in PLSQL. And I'm going to show you how to call this. But for now, let us copy this. And you can try to paste it again over here. Once that is done, you can just press enter and forward slash. And it says procedure created. Now, usually at this point, if you have made any mistakes inside, then it probably won't show you the mistake. Uh, it won't give you which error you exactly made and in which line. It will just give you a message like procedure created with compilation error. If that's the message you're getting, then please go ahead and check your code once again. Try to match it with what I have written. And if there are mistakes, correct them. And I'm sure it's going to work after that. Now, once the code is ready, make sure you commit. So commit. What, what happens now is this procedure, hello world, is going to be saved inside my system and it's going to remain in my system till I delete it. So now it is persistent in the memory. And now once I've done this, I can now call this. I can call this procedure. And to call this procedure, you can write another PLSQL block. And inside that PLSQL block, you can call this procedure. So you can write, begin, I'm going to type here because it's just three lines so begin and mention the name of your procedure and the name of my procedure is hello world so begin hello world and then end and forward slash to run and you can see here hello world is getting printed right it's not getting printed because I wrote hello world here because I'm not typing the string, I'm actually calling the procedure. The name of my procedure is also hello world and that's why it is getting printed here. So this is how you can create lots of procedures in PLSQL 
and you can hide data make your code more organized and more manageable and just it uh, it looks good and you can increase your reusability by creating procedures that you can uh, use and reuse in several applications several times so this is how it works a PLSQL procedure and that's it for this video in the next video I'm going to explain to you more about procedures so uh, please do watch that one and thank you for watching this one see you in the next video